Hi guys. How you doing? Cool. So how was your week? Did you have a good week? Yeah? It was a beautiful week, right? We had the sun almost every day. There's a lot of wind. It was beautiful. Yes. So, are you still stuck at home, I guess, right? But they're changing things. I see they're changing things. So sometime in the near future, we can get out and go places like the beach and the boardwalk and maybe the parks, right? And we can walk around and maybe someday we can go to school, okay? So last week we talked about um, we talked about the Holy Spirit because I was a little confused. I'm not really always sure what that Holy Spirit is. But we talked about the Trinity, right? The Father, who's the Creator, the Son, who saved us, and the Holy Spirit, who's with us all the time inside, right? So we we know that Jesus said that the Holy Spirit is coming. So the Holy Spirit's going to come, and and. Um, this is the part of the of the story. It is after Jesus ascended into heaven. This is the part that comes next. The part that Jesus was saying to his disciples, now you got to do what I did. Now you got to do, you have to teach the people about my father and about me and about the Holy Spirit, about how we're all one. So they, <clears throat> they got together, the disciples, and a whole bunch of people got together. And they were all together in one place, and it was Pentecost. And Pentecost was a, um, a Jewish holiday, so people were in town for the Jewish holiday. And I'm going to read a little bit, and I'm going to say it a little bit, because it's pretty long, but I, I want you to get the gist of it. So when the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place, the disciples and all of the people, too. And then there was suddenly a noise that came from heaven. It sounded like a strong wind blowing and the noise filled the whole house where they were sitting and they saw something that looked like flames of fire and the the flames separated and stood over each person's each stood over each person <laughs> kind of interesting right and they were filled with the holy spirit i don't know if they knew that but it it they felt something right and then they began to speak different languages, not the language that they knew how to speak. All of these people were from different areas and there were different languages in those different areas. The Holy Spirit gave them the power to speak these different languages, even though they never learned them and they've never spoken them before. There are also some religious Jews that were staying in Jerusalem who were from every country in the world. And when they heard the noise, a crowd came together. They were all surprised because they could hear each one of them speaking in his own language. They were completely amazed at this. They said, aren't all these men that we hear speaking, aren't they from Galilee? But that we can hear them in our own language. That would be like if, um, if I was talking to somebody who spoke Spanish and I don't speak Spanish, but I started speaking it and I knew what I was saying. Like, how could that happen? They were from all different places, and I'm not going to go through the whole list, but there were lots of them. Medea, Mesopotamia, Judea, Egypt, Cyrene, Rome, Arabia. They were all confused. They were amazed, but they were confused. What does this mean? And other people were making fun of them, saying, man, they're drunk. But Peter stood up with the 11 apostles. Now, the disciples are now going to be called apostles. Once Jesus is up in heaven and they are starting to teach, instead of just listening, they become apostles. And he said, listen, these men are not drunk. But Joel, hundreds of years ago, told us this was going to happen. He said, I will give my spirit freely to all kinds of people. That means not just the Jews, not just those who speak Aramaic or speak um, Hebrew. Everyone, I will give my spirit even to servants, men and women, and they will prophesy. They will know what God is trying to say. Jesus from Nazareth was a very special man, and God showed this to you through miracles and wonders and signs. And you know it because it happened right here. And then we gave Jesus to you and you, and you killed him. 
But God knew this would happen. God had a plan. And he made the plan a long, long time ago. And then after Jesus died, God raised him from the dead. He took him free of the pain. He had no more pain. He is close to me. God said, Jesus is close to me. And Jesus said it too. So here's the thing. God made a plan that he was going to make, he was going to send his representative. He was going to send his son, part of him, part of God, to teach us and to take care of us and to be good and follow the rules. And he did that. So you have the father who created everything, who started the motion. Then you have Jesus who came and connected with people, connected with us. It wasn't just an entity far away that said, do this, do this, do this. He was part of us, right? And then Jesus said, I have to go back up to my father. I'm going back up into heaven. But now there's somebody who's going to be with you all the time. And the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit didn't have a form. It didn't have a picture you could picture in your head. But when they were all together in that room, there was a huge wind so they could feel it. They didn't see it, but they felt it. And then they could see flames of, like flames, not hot, just it looked like flames. And it was above everyone because it was connecting with everyone, everyone. God does not just want to teach the people that are Jewish. He doesn't just want to teach the people who are American. He wants everyone, wants everyone to be with him. So what does this mean for us now? Part of it means that we take care of each other, especially during this whole time that we're having right now. We take care of each other because that's what God said. He said, you're all mine. Take care of each other. That's what Jesus was telling us. And that's what the Holy Spirit did. The Holy Spirit came and he gave us the ability to be able to do what we're supposed to do. That Holy Spirit came to all of those people and gave them that ability. And now the Holy Spirit is all with all of us, giving us that ability. So now we're doing what Jesus told everybody to do. Go tell people about me. Go tell people about God so that we can take care of them, so that we can all take care of each other. I don't care where you live. I don't care what you look like. I don't care if you're a man or a woman or a child. You are mine. And you listen and you hear and you're open to it and you will have my, you will have my protection and my love and my caring and I will get you through everything. So that's the connection, isn't it? That we're having a hard time right now and we have good days and we have bad days and God did not say I will take away the bad days he did not say that I wish he had but he didn't what he said was I will get you through the bad days I will take care of you through this and it might hurt like Jesus it hurt him but he got through it and he's not hurting anymore it's kind of cool the way it all connects isn't it and it comes back to, this is what God is doing for us. What God did for Jesus by getting him through the death and the, and the, and the, and the cross, but bringing him back and taking the pain away. Because Jesus had the pain of all of us, right? And God took it away. So God takes it. And God has that pain. So we've got the Father. We've got the Son, Jesus. And we've got the Holy Spirit. And that's the part where we get the help. That's the part that gives us the words to say, that gives us the ideas to, to do things, the ideas to take care of other people, to build them up, the idea to love other people. And no matter where they're from or who they are, that's what the whole language thing was about. It's all different people, but we all are connected through, through the Bible and through what Jesus taught us. I don't know if this makes a whole lot of sense, but as I'm listening to it, it kind of makes it so that I remember why I, I believe this and why I go to church. And the reason is because I know that it is right to take care of everyone 
no matter what you look like. And I also know that I'm going to be helped through the hard times. All right. Next week, we'll do a little bit more about the end of that day of that Pentecost. But that's that's the, the gist of what happened in the beginning and how it happened. It was a beginning. It was a beginning of a church that would go out and, you know, what is it, a thousand, two thousand years later, it's still vital and it's still here and we're still part of it because of that one day. So there's a, um, a word search because I know we like word searches. And there is a coloring page. And I have a craft for you. And it's a stained glass like you see in church. And you just, um, there's, there's patterns for it. And you can, you can color it in the patterns. Or what I did was I used it as a, as a uh, template. And I, um, I cut out paper. And then I just cut the paper out so that it, this is the flame. Right? This is the flame that showed you are part of me. You are in my world. You are God's. Right? So you can make this and hang it up for Pentecost. Pentecost is next Sunday, May 31st, I think. So um, we'll finish it up next week. But I did want it, I wanted to start it this week. All right. When you're having a hard time, remember. Remember that not only did Jesus come and teach us, but the Holy Spirit is here with us. And you can talk to God. You can say, dear God. You can say, dear Jesus. You can say, Holy Spirit. You can say whatever you want because God doesn't care. He's right there with us. So when you get into a hard time and there's not an adult around to pull you right out, pray. Because that's what it's about. That's what it, why we have those three entities of God. If you need to talk, give me a call. Email me. If you email me, I'll email you back my phone number. If you want to do something nice, do something nice. And know that it's coming from God. All right? And really know that God is going to get us through this. We're going to get through this. And we're going to be better for it. And we're still going to be around. The church is still going to be there. And school is still going to be there. We just have to get through this part of it. Okay? I love you a lot. I miss you so much. But we are going to be together soon. Have a good week. And happy Pentecost.